The corollaries to the right triangle altitudes theorem can actually be used to measure objects indirectly. In order to do this, we need something called a square measure. And it's a tool that looks something like this. Sometimes the ends are actually square up here instead of being pointed, but it's nonetheless a right angle tool. And usually one side is longer than the other. And the way this helps us is it allows us to measure tall objects like, say, a tree here. What we will do is hold the square measure at eye level here, and we will align the top of the tree and the bottom of the tree with the two legs of the square measure. And then we will look directly across at a point on the tree, just like that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? A right triangle with an altitude to the hypotenuse. Boom. OK, so we will know that this length is the geometric mean of this length and this other length here. So let's do a problem with this. We have Lynn here. And Lynn is cataloging the heights of the trees at Versailles. If you don't know about Versailles, then Google it. Wonderful French place. This tree is not on level ground. Remember the idea with the mirror that we used before? It's not going to work because we're not on level ground. So Lynn is going to hold a square measure up at eye level. And she is going to align it so the top of the tree and the bottom of the tree align with the legs. And then she is going to look straight across at the tree, just like we described before. Now, when doing this, she has found that she is four meters from the tree and that the distance from the base of the tree to where she sees is one and 32 hundredths meters. So how tall is the tree to the nearest centimeter? Now, this nearest centimeter is very interesting. What that means is it wants us to round to two decimal places because a centimeter is one one hundredth, the second decimal place, of a meter. So let's start working this problem. We don't know the rest of the height of the tree, do we? So let's call that x. Therefore, the hypotenuse corollary tells us that this four meters is going to be the geometric mean of the x and the 1 and 32 hundredths meters. Notice what happens on the right-hand side of the equation. Our units reduce. We can use the cross products property of proportions. And notice that 4 times 4 meters is 16 meters. And then we can divide both sides by 1 and 32 hundredths. So x is going to be about 12.1212. OK, so that 12 continues on repeating. But remember, we're going to round it, so that's fine. But now, here's the quick question. Is x the height of the tree? Hopefully, you're noticing it's not the entire height of the tree. The entire height of the tree happens to be not only the x, but the 1 and 32 hundredths meters. So our height is going to equal this 12.1212 repeating plus the 1 and 32 hundredths meters. And keep in mind, these are all meters. So that means our height is going to be about 13 and 44 hundredths meters. Notice that we have rounded to the second decimal place, which is the nearest centimeter. Quick, easy, and a nice handy way of using indirect measure